Kokedama is no joke, boys and girls. This is an ancient form of Japanese garden art, not unlike bonsai, and I'm living for it. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to care for this fascinating, amazing Japanese planting technique. You're not going to want to miss this one, so sit tight, sit back, and let me tell you all about Kokedama. If you're new to my channel, I'm Tyler, welcome. If you like what you are hearing and seeing, please give this video a thumbs up, or better yet, subscribe to my channel. So here in front of me, I have a beautiful example of a Kokedama. In a nutshell, or moss ball rather, Kokedama is the art of planting without a pot. The roots of the plant get wrapped in this sphagnum moss bound with string and rope transforming this ordinary plant into a beautiful piece of art. Loosely translating the term kokedama from Japanese to English, koke means moss and dama means ball. The craziest part of kokedama is that these can either sit on a surface like a tabletop or they can be hung from the ceiling for an incredibly visually stunning effect. How you care for your kokedama will depend on the plant that you have Obviously, many different plants and types of succulents can be used with this technique. So here, in this example, I have a philodendron birkin. So let me share some care tips for the philodendron birkin. Now, you can see that this philodendron has gorgeous variegated leaves, green with white veining throughout. Now, from a purely aesthetic perspective, point of view, I think the philodendron birkin was a great choice for this kokedama because the white veining in the variegated leaves of the plant really tie nicely with this taupe rope that's being used and really gives it an overall sort of cohesive, really beautiful look. Anyways, that being said, these plants love bright indirect sunlight, so no surprise there. I do always recommend recommend placing plants that do need bright indirect sunlight close to a south facing window and just make sure that it doesn't get too much direct sunlight. So at this point you're probably wondering how do you water something like this? Well it's actually quite simple. This needs to get soaked in a large enough bin or a clean sink for about 10 minutes every two weeks. Do keep in mind that you do not want your kokedama to completely dry out, otherwise it will start to crumble. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. For those of you who have been following along or subscribed to my channel, you know that my husband and I bought a house recently. We've currently sold our condo and moved out and we're in a hotel right now. Uh, but that being said, I have very big plans for Kokedama at our new house. And I will definitely be sharing in a future video the installation of my Kokedama. Hope you found this video useful and informative. See you next Saturday.